The statistics are concerning, an important message for parents now that alarming data out of the 2021 update to the Guam State Epidemiological Report is made public. In 2019, a staggering 68.9 percent of high school students and 49 percent of middle school students have tried vaping. One in three of Guam's youth are currently vaping. A primary author of the report, Dr. Annette David, says Guam's youth has the highest rate of e-cigarette use globally. When you look at those data and you compare them to the rest of the nation and as well to the region, to the Western Pacific region, our youth have some of the highest rates, not just in the U.S., but in the region and in fact globally. Very, very worrisome. But what's not stated in the report, those even as young as elementary school children are also vaping. From the reports that the teachers and students are telling us, uh, electronic cigarette use is also happening among elementary school students. And in fact, some of the schools have reached out to us, the elementary schools, because they've had to confiscate the electronic cigarettes from their students. And, and we're talking about very young students here. She says it's a serious concern as vaping is a gateway that leads them down a path to nicotine addiction and a grim future for their health. Back in February, parents at Antelon Middle School were on edge after hearing reports of students suddenly falling ill. The Guam Department of Education later confirmed two middle schoolers got sick after they apparently inhaled cannabis-infused vapes. American Medical Center family physician Dr. Hoa Wen outlined some of the health risks. It's a big problem for us. Like I say, I mean, it's, um, it's addictive, uh, just like cigarette smoking. So when you start such a young age, and you have much more uh, children that's uh, vaping um, than smoking in the past. You know, it's not a, the smoking is somewhat uh, not like vaping at this point. Uh, you're going to have increased risks of a population that have lung disease and heart disease. Dangerous from a number of ways from pulmonary, cardiovascular, and potential carcinogenic effects. And aside from the physiological effects, there are also risks of physical injury. Risks such as explosion and fires. And we've had those happen here in Guam where the devices have exploded. In fact, there was one case that was reported by one of our surgeons where the patient was uh, vaping and the device exploded while he was vaping and he needed to have facial reconstruction. And then, of course, the fires that come when these devices explode. The report stating there were at least two known cases of vapes exploding at Guam DOE schools, which led to the Guam Police Department stepping in. Guam law prohibits the sale, distribution, purchase, and use of vapes to anyone under the age of 21, but it's not stopping the youth. Dr. Wen says there needs to be more education on the risks of vaping. This is where the education part uh, needs to be much more out there and also to um, start in the family. The parents really need to pay attention to children and make sure that uh, the children does not vape. You know, there's a lot of pressure in school. Meanwhile, Dr. David is hoping for more regulation. For instance, there are so many flavors that are available out there. And so really regulating those flavors and perhaps even banning them altogether will be a way to protect the youth. Matsuki Hiriyama, KUAM News.